The city and county of Broomfield has approved a group of gun ordinances. They did so this week. Eight of the 10 proposals are moving forward, but not without a fight. Our Olivia Young joining us live tonight from Broomfield. And Olivia, we've heard both sides complain here, saying it's too little or too restrictive. What else did you learn today? Well, Kelly, according to Colorado ceasefire, there were over 280 gun related homicides in Colorado last year, and now just two weeks into the new year, there have already been 10. Now here in Broomfield and in the state capitol, stricter gun laws are being introduced, but pro gun groups say they won't pass without a legal fight. Gun violence prevention advocates applauding Broomfield City Council for approving a number of new gun laws. I think it's great that they are taking the step, and I would say they're cautiously taking a step to protect the people of their community and begin to lead the way in Colorado. The laws include prohibiting open carry in public places and concealed carry in city-owned places. Requiring additional signage where guns are sold, regulating ghost guns, and banning rapid fire trigger activators. The trigger activators turn uh, regular guns into machine guns. Two other measures were tabled until after the legislative session. One that would increase the age to buy a firearm to 21, and another that would require a 10 day waiting period and proof of training to buy one. Raising that age to 21 certainly wouldn't. Uh, be under the text history and tradition of the Second Amendment. Gun lobbyist Taylor Rhodes plans to challenge the new laws in court later this year. We still are looking at litigation against Broomfield, um, but it will likely come after the legislative session is over because there's a potential that we could combine those suits. Rhodes is waiting to learn more about a leaked draft of a bill that would ban assault weapons statewide. This would make Colorado the most restrictive place in America to buy a firearm. As the legislative session begins, the debate over Colorado's guns continues. Gun control is not working at all. We need to end the scourge, what guns are creating in our communities. Now, as far as that leaked bill, it would reportedly ban the sale of certain classifications of guns, but it wouldn't affect those who already own them. Again, this bill has not yet been introduced, and it is just a draft. In Broomfield, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First.